Hi everybody and welcome. For today's video we're going to look at another calculation training exercise. Uh, I've been trying to uh, think of some videos that would be more accessible to a broader range of people and in the past a number of people have complained that the exercises are too difficult. So I'm trying to bridge the gap a little bit and um, I've picked out an example that I feel like most people ought to be able to solve with a little bit of careful thought. So it's white to play and win. There's a forcing continuation that results in mate. And let's just take stock of the position before we uh, start to analyze this in detail. We can see that this light squared bishop of white on d3 is kind of hemmed in by its own pawns, but it's controlling this useful diagonal towards the black king. The white rook is in danger of being captured but is still controlling some very useful squares on the edge file so it's a good attacking unit. The queen is extremely well posted on e6 to participate in the attack and we've also got uh, this nice rook on, on g1 kind of gunning down the file that the black king is residing on. Um, We've also got two passed pawns on a5 and d5. And if we look at black's position, um, his um, king is a little bit vulnerable to checks on the back rank. His knight is out of play on the b7 square. But he does have some um, sort of compensation here. If it was his turn to move, um, there would be some reasonable defenses, but of course it's white to move. So I'm just going to give you a minute or two, or uh, just pause the video for as long as you need, and try to start just calculating the forcing lines, and see see how far you can get, and see if you can find um, the key move to winning this position. It's not as difficult as you might imagine. Okay. Well, I'm just going to walk you through my thinking process when I try to solve a problem like this. Um, the first move I looked at, and we're just going to talk through it first before we move the pieces, was queen to e8 check. Queen to e8 check is a forcing move, putting the black king in check, and it means that black is forced to play rook to f8, blocking the check. After this, um, white can follow up with rook to h8 check, so his rook that's under attack on the h3 uh, square moves up to h8 delivering check, at which point the black king is forced to recapture. And now the black rook that's on f8 is unguarded and can be captured by the queen delivering check again. So now that the um, this king is in uh, check on h8, he can't come to h7 because of the bishop, he must, um, black must block the check with moving the, the rook on g7 to g8. But at this point we see that there's no way for white to continue his attack. There's two squares from which the white queen on f8 could deliver check, and those are f6 and h6, both of which are covered by the black queen on the g5 square. And sometimes when we're trying to construct these combinations, um, you, f you kind of look through a series of forced moves and then you th find a reason why it's not possible, and if then you can eliminate the piece that's causing you the problem, then by playing the moves in a different order, then um, you kind of find the key to, to winning the position and forcing the the, uh, the correct attacking sequence. So I'm just going to walk through that sequence just so it's clear. We go queen to e8, rook to f8, queen takes, sorry, rook to h8 check, King takes h8, queen takes f8, rook to g8, 
and now we see that white has nowhere to follow up because both of these checking squares um, particularly h6 which would be deadly is covered by the black queen so if we go back to the starting position we'll see if we can find a way to deflect the queen away from um, the defense of the h6 square if we can do that we can find the way to win this position so let's go back to the beginning and if you didn't find the solution already perhaps you can find it now with the help of the hints that I provided so again if you want to pause the video please do so so the winning move here my friends is rook takes g4 a beautiful deflection move if for instance the queen takes on g4 then our combination from before now wins queen e8 rook to f8 rook h8 check queen sorry king takes h8 I'm getting ahead of myself here queen takes f8 rook to g8 is forced and now queen h6 is mate quite a beautiful sequence and all of the other defenses um, lose you might you can look through those if you want to by yourself uh, but in the interest of keeping this brief I'm not going to thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time goodbye